What's up, YouTubers? So we have moved on to the second roof. You can see the first roof's done. This is the part two of the solar panel bonanza, the fall bonanza. And this one is just a little bit steeper than the other one. And this pitch right here, if I feel like if I was to execute a slip and slide, I might end up in the grass. So we got ourselves tied off, which adds a whole new dimension to the install that you got to think about a lot. Now, luckily, we got cougar paws on this roof. This is a standing seam metal roof. It just happens to definitely be an all steel roof. So this, the feet stick even better. The shoes stick even better. Also, not as old of a roof, so not as heavily soiled. I want to show you my rope guard. That's EMT and some of the clamps we're going to use. What that's doing is keeping the rope, rope from being chafed by the sharp metal roof ribs. That's so here's how I have my rope on the harness. And then here's a, uh, my fall protection. Because this thing, it's real simple. And uh, when, it, when you pull on it tight, it grips. This is a non-static, or this is a static rope, so it doesn't stretch at all. It's an 11 millimeter rope. I get all this stuff from a fire safety supply place that make, give, sell stuff to aim, you know, firefighters, stuff like that, rescue guys. This is my ascender. It's really simple. Won't let you go down. You gotta grab it to move and go up. There's some really complicated stuff out there, but this is what we use. And then we also use a confined space entry harness. So you gotta be safe up there on the roof, guys. Oh, we just had a Really serious dinner last night. To a uh, got in an argument about sausage at lunch yesterday, and ended up at a French place last night, <clears throat> which led to consumption of a lot of food. Led to a tasty yet full stomach. Did you get enough coffee? No. Oh. I don't. I just. I yeah. So it is the end of day three on this. 96 or 92 panel install we got all our rails up for tomorrow it's going to be the same same array as over here 42 panels plus eight on the bottom it's a standing seam roof man you could tell the difference when you were walking around with the cougar paws it was all steel it's feeling real good so what we like to do if we can tell them, is a standing seam roof with an ace clamp to the snapping rack. And man, this new snapping rack stuff, the UR40 and the UR60, the snapping rack was a great system, the Series 200, but its, spli it's splices were difficult and it was a little bit of a problem to get the channel nut in the lower channel which they've eliminated that lower channel and now there's just one channel and the way that the foot snaps on and the way the splices go on it's really nice so what we like to do is get all of our strings kind of in their general locations get the connectors on there and then when we're paneling we do a final wire dress and we're doing a couple of different things when we're dressing wires you've seen some of them we were talking about tying off earlier, different things you can tie off to. You can tie off to a six by six. You can tie off to the pencil hitch of a military generator. That'll usually hold you. And you can always tie off to a big oak tree. Now the knot that we like to use is a knot that everybody recognizes. That's the main reason we use it. Just a figure eight. Then we tie a little safety on the tail. And we are not like mountaineers or anything, but we know this is gonna hold. We're always checking our ropes. Safety is the most important thing. And I showed you guys earlier my guard. But I have a guard set up so the ropes aren't chafing. Tony Valentine with Gain Solar. Finishing up another beautiful day. So Neil went to a pho restaurant. He put way too much chili in his pho and he ruined it. 
He did. So this time he got pork chop with fried rice. Hopefully he'll be all right. Scott? <laughs> what? <laughs> Abraham cut his beard off and it was transformational today. What? The scissors. The minute he cut his beard, <laughs> his, his, his squats, his bench press went down by 50 pounds. Oh, <laughs> that week. My man strength. Oh. When, could it? when did you get your man strength? At lunch, when? I cut it. When? I cut, at lunch. Uh, How old were you when you uh, knew you had man strength? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, YouTubers. Johnny Valentine here again. From in that big pipe. Go, boss, go! Come on! Right. Going through the socket. Going up onto the solar array. Abraham's got the boot. About to come through. And made that roof penetration. It's going to be a weatherhead style. Where is that weatherhead? Just waiting for the roof to dry off. It's about lost her moisture. I'm gonna be using a weatherhead. Turn down all these conductors. It's gonna look real nice. So as soon as we can get all this, what would you call this? Hibis together. Hibises, all these hibises locked in. We're gonna I'm gonna be installing. So we just went ahead and ran a piece of con or a piece of rail all the way to the edge of the roof. Made it our, made our roof penetration. Got some tech screws and some JTS one. Nothing you ain't seen before. Only thing we're doing is doing it right. This is a rare opportunity to see Abraham in its natural environment installing a roof boot. Looking good, buddy. So if you don't have uh, that stuff, you can just use uh, Elmer's glue or wood glue. Silly putty. Silly putty works great, but it's high. Wood filler. Wood filler. Yeah, that works good. First thing, step one, caulk it. You're not going to get that on tape. Step two, place boot over penetration. Stretch it. Stretch it. Oh, get on there. Oh, yeah. Step three. Push boot down over the boot. That's good. Step four. He's there. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pro. Let's get that. That's looking real pro, bro. Yeah, there we go. Looking real pro. Step four. Install copious amount. Copious amounts of metal roof screws. This is a really uh, th thick roof, so it's hard to get through at the first first push. But ideally, you want to get it all the way through, and then if it pops up a little bit, you need to push it back down until you see the sealant squeeze out. Give it a little bit more. Is that new hot product? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Don't over tighten your screws if you can help. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good pro install there, Abe. Abe. How do you, do you feel less strong since you cut your beard? Yeah. Oh. My man's strength. How's your beard? Good. <laughs> Alright, so, so we are just about right. ready Perfect. to put up the panels. And we are going to have a total of. We got 92 panels? Yeah. That's right. Almost 30kW. So we do a final wire dress, obviously as we're mounting panels. This is cool, you can use a snapping rack pop-in and a wire retention clip. You can do just about anything you want. This new uh, rail, you can also, you just get maximum flexibility. You can put a wire in like that if you want, on the side. 
You run your wire in your channel, outside of your channel. We like to have clean wire management. Here's my. You guys probably can't see that super good because it's not that bright. But there is. What is that? 42 panels? 46? 50? I don't know how many. So there's 42 up here. An ACDC 12 and a Solar 8K. And then there's I'm doing something with the pool pump down here. And there's another ACDC 12 and uh, Solar 8K maxed out. 42 panels, 42 panels, 8 panels, total of 92 panels. Got a little different roof penetration conduit run situation going on. And uh, there's our disconnects and just like it's lucky cane he's leaving there goes the big boss taking the lift out he loves riding on toys he'll never grow up you good there's the two solar arrays nestled away on the two open bars Johnny 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 Johnny